Hi, I'm Jason Cotta, one of the creators of Gibraltar. I'm going to show you how to extend Gibraltar with a cool third-party tool called PostSharp. You'll learn how to instrument your apps to be easier to debug and support without writing a single line of logging code. Check this out. Which code snippet looks easier to maintain? This? Or this? They both do the same thing. The essential work is evaluating an expression. But for debugging purposes, we also want to trace entry and exit of the method. And we want to log all exceptions, even if they get swallowed somewhere further up the call stack. The magic of Gibraltar and PostSharp is getting all that logging goodness with no ugly code bloat. Using the techniques described in this video, you can make your apps way easier to debug and support without writing any extra logging code. Just tag the methods you care about with the aspects we provide and let PostSharp and Gibraltar handle the rest. No muss, no fuss. For this demo, we'll be using a single form program that hosts a few instances of a little control. Each instance is driven by its own thread and cycles through a pattern of incrementing three progress bars. Having a few well-placed trace messages in your programs can be really helpful, but reviewing them in the output window or notepad is pretty weak. Let's see how much better we can do by adding Gibraltar. To integrate Gibraltar with a .NET program, just point our configuration wizard at your project file. You could also skip the wizard and do this manually. All that's needed is a reference to gibraltar.agent.dll and a little code or XML to initialize Gibraltar when your program starts. Now when I run my program, the Gibraltar agent records all those trace messages along with a bunch of other useful data. We manage and analyze the data collected by the agent in an application we call the Gibraltar Analyst. Notice how new sessions automatically show up in the analyst without me having to paw around looking for log files. Drilling down into the session we just ran, we immediately see that this is worlds better than Notepad. Gibraltar shows where each message came from and can even display the associated source code. Let's hide these repetitive messages that are cluttering up our view. Now, let's group our messages by thread. And over here I can see my namespace hierarchy, where I can highlight or filter messages by class. Or, I can filter by severity, and boil down those reams of messages to the handful I care about, in this case, showing the cycle time per thread. As you can see, Gibraltar is really good at extracting meaning from all those trace messages. Of course. I still had to code those trace messages in the first place. That's where PostSharp comes in. Having previously installed PostSharp, all I need to do to integrate it with this program is add a couple assembly references. So that was easy, right? Now check this out. By adding a single attribute to our assembly, we can trace the execution of every method in our program. Naturally, tracing every method call is going to generate a boatload of messages thousands per second, certainly more data than you'd want in production. But even this level of detail can be handy every once in a while. Ever have a hairy bug that only shows itself in release builds but not in the debugger? You could tell PostSharp to wire up every method, but programmatically enable tracing just before you do the thing that makes it go boom. Let's take a look at our session log in Gibraltar. Sure enough, we logged over 30,000 messages in just a few seconds. Let me drill in and highlight all the messages that PostSharp generated for us. It looks like most of these are coming from the vertical progress bar. And if I drill in a little further, I see that most of those 30,000 messages are coming from just three frequently called methods. Fortunately, PostSharp supports a very slick feature called Attribute Multicasting that lets you easily and flexibly define patterns for exactly what methods PostSharp should include and exclude. Without getting bogged down in syntax details, this small change tells PostSharp to ignore the vertical progress bar class. And while we're here, let me show you how we can use PostSharp and Gibraltar to analyze performance bottlenecks. Let's apply the gTimer aspect to take a closer look at how much time that class is eating up. Let's run our program again. Gibraltar is still tracing method entry and exit in every other class, but for the vertical progress bar class, we're just recording timing information. You see that we're now logging a couple orders of magnitude fewer trace messages than before. 
Let's take a look at the performance timing metrics we just added. I should mention in passing that Gibraltar automatically collects all your favorite Windows performance counters and gives you a better tool than Perfmon for analyzing bottlenecks. In addition, Gibraltar lets you define custom metrics to record whatever you want. We'll start by graphing the average execution time for each of our tagged methods. Our constructor appears to be the slowest by far. And if I overlay a line showing how often each method is called, I see that the constructor is rarely called. When I graph total execution time for each method, I see something unexpected. I would have predicted that we spend most of our time in on paint, but in fact, we spend much more time in validating the vertical progress bar than we spend actually updating it. Of course, you could have found this kind of bottleneck using any profiling tool. But there are three cool and unique things about using Gibraltar for performance profiling that I want to point out. First of all, you have all your trace and metrics data in one place. And though we're not talking about it in this video, Gibraltar also captures a ton of error and configuration data that really helps out with customer support. Second, Gibraltar's biggest advantage for profiling is that we let you monitor hotspots even in fielded production applications. As we just showed, you can use Gibraltar and PostSharp together to identify and monitor the parts of your app that matter without incurring the unacceptable performance impact you get with traditional profiling tools. And third, we make it really easy to extend Gibraltar with your own custom metrics for recording whatever matters to you and your application. So give Gibraltar and PostSharp a try. I promise you'll be impressed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.